Hi, this is Shannon from Canada Wig, and I'm here with another wig review. This time we are looking at Runway Waves by Gabor. Um, this wig comes with a full lace front as well as a monofilament part on the left hand side. So as long as you're parting it on the left hand side, you can take advantage of that monofilament and create the illusion of a realistic looking scalp line there. The measurements on this wig are 14 inches at the front, or 14.5 inches at the front, 14.5 inches at the crown, 12 inches on the side, 13.5 inches on the back, and then it has a nape measurement of 9 inches. So it's sitting just below shoulder length level. Um, I would say that this is a comparable length to John Renault's Heidi. So if you're familiar with that um, wig that is a beachy style, then this one would be fairly similar, only this one I don't think has quite the gradient that Heidi does. Heidi is shorter in the back and goes longer in the front, whereas this one is pretty much the same length all the way around, I'd feel. The color that we see here on this one is GL14-22SS, um, which is the uh, sandy blonde. <laughs> Um, this color does have a rooting because it is SS, so it's very, very light. As you can see there, there's it's a little bit darker at the at the crown there where the monofilament part is, but it's not um, it's not super dark by any means. It's not like the blondes that some some other manufacturers do with the rooting, where the rooting is really, really dark and intense, and then it gets really lighter. This one is kind of just a very gradual transition, and then they do put um, blonde right at the front, so it's going to kind of lighten up the face and then also help make the knots really invisible. And as you can see, the knots are pretty much, there's no knotting at all. So the hairline looks really, really good, the lace front. Let me just show you this one from all sides. So overall, this one's really cute. Um, it's It feels very lightweight. I wouldn't say it's really like extra dense. Um, it does have quite a bit of hair, but it's not it's not crazy dense. Like I mean, and it would look really cute in a ponytail as I'm doing this. Um, it is less hair than Heidi, I would say. Um, probably less hair than Rachel as well by John Renault. But it's not it's not super thin. So if you are someone who likes very low density hair, then you might want to thin this a little bit. Um, I've never tried an Arrow by Ellen Villa, but I sense that that one may be a little bit lower density because they are usually lower density. So this one's probably kind of your middle ground. Um, the wave pattern is really pretty. It's I feel like it's a little more it's a little more curly than it is the really really beachy wave like what uh, Heidi is. So there, there's a lot of these beachy wave kind of curly wigs out there right now and every manufacturer kind of has their own take on it. So um, if you're familiar with some, then you can kind of compare and contrast and figure out which one is going to be the best option for you. Uh, this one, the bang, there's no bang on this either. So if you're someone who doesn't like a bang, then this one might be a good choice. Of course, if you do prefer a bang, you could always cut a little bang here too and make a little shorter piece there and that would be, that would be no problem at all to do. Um, the color is very, this is the sandy blonde, it's very, very light. Um, I would say it's probably one of the lightest blondes that I've ever had on. Uh, the, and then the rooting is, is very light as well. So overall it's, it's, something for, it's a color for someone who really, really likes a light blonde. Um, I would say if you were to look at comparing this with another color, you might compare it to John Renault's um, 22F16 maybe. But even I still think it might be lighter than that. So. Just kind of keep that in mind as you're choosing the colors for this one. So this is Runway Waves by Gabor. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you want to see more of these wig reviews, please subscribe to our channel because we're going to do more on a regular basis. Hope you have a good day.